Hey everybody, welcome back to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to start, well, basically making this player, well, do something. Well, there's a couple ways that you can do it. Well, first of all, the easiest way to add in some kind of behavior to this is to literally add in what we see as a behavior. So if we click on the behavior here, and you have to make sure, by the way, that you are clicking on the actual object that you want. So if you click on the player and click on behavior, you can go to add new behavior. Now, there's a lot of really cool behaviors work, and uh, some of these behaviors don't necessarily work right away. So let's say if you wanted to add in some of these behaviors, like the shadow caster, it's not going to work right away. There's other things that you have to add in there. So these are the best ways to add in some basic functionality to your game here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add in an eight direction to my uh, player here. And by the way, if you just take a few seconds to look at some of the names of these, uh, behaviors, you'll see it, they will do exactly what they're supposed to do. Like if you need to add in a projectile, well, you can add in the bullet behavior. If you want to add in physics, well, you add in the physics behavior. If you want to add in an orbit behavior, you add in the orbit behavior. You, you can see where this is, is going here. And this is also a really good way of of programming as well. If you make a function, which we'll be talking about later in the course, you want to name that function exactly what it does. So let's go ahead, let's add in the eight direction here. Now in this behavior here, you will see uh, that we have the uh, max speed, acceleration, deceleration, and we also have the directions here and then the angles as well here. Okay, we also have the default controls as well as enabled. Okay, so all of these things here uh, will make it uh, work here. And so what are the default controls? Well, if you basically put the uh, the arrow keys here, there you go. This is working out really well. Okay, so you can see here that we now have a player that can move around. Okay, very cool stuff. Let's talk a little bit about some other things here. You can change the max speed, right? You can change the acceleration. So how fast you get to that max speed, you can make it twice as much. So for example, right, you can see that the acceleration here and the deceleration is also pretty high here. Now, a quick note about the deceleration. Generally, you have to put it way higher than you, you would think um, if you want to kind of just stop, okay? And if you really want to, uh, you know, uh, stop on a dime or very, very quickly, you're going to have to do that, right? So you can see here that that is exactly it. Now, you'll also notice uh, that uh, the angles here, uh, you can see that uh, there are no 90 and 45. Well, if I, let's just say to 90 degree angles here. Um, so for instance, if I move around here, you'll see that there's practically no uh, angle change here. Whereas if I do 45, you'll see that if I push left and right at the same time, I can kind of move around like that here, right? And you'll see that, you know, when I move around, uh, there is an angle here. And if you push no, you can see what happens here. There's basically no angle change here. So, you know, if you're making a space shooter, this might be the, the better way to, to go about it, right? So you can see uh, if, you can pick whichever one you want there. Now the default controls are there for the, the simple arrow keys. If you want to add in other controls like WASD uh, controls, then you would uncheck that and then you would go to your event sheet and add that in there, all right? And lastly, there's an enabled feature. And the reason why that's important is like, let's say you you pause the game or there's a, you know, you've been frozen by an enemy or something. Like if you need to disable the controls, you can actually do that as well, okay? So as you can see, uh, this is a good way of adding in behaviors, okay? Let's add in another behavior. So look at this, you can actually go outside the map. Well, that's not good. And by the way, if I push the key, my, my uh, square here, my player is really off screen here, and it's gonna take a while for me to get back. Now, we really don't want that. Okay, so let's go ahead, let's click on the behavior here. And by the way, you can add in a ton of different behaviors here. Okay, but the behavior that we want is this bound to 
layout here. Okay, so let's go ahead, let's add that in here. And you'll see that this one here, the properties within here, uh, you can have either the bound to edge or origin. So let's just go ahead and let's just kind of play that here. And you can see that, well, the edge here, I, it doesn't matter how much I go I or how much I push, I am going to be bound to the screen. And this is something you absolutely want to do, okay? Now, if you go to the origin here, it's a little bit different. So let's go ahead here and you can see that well half of the player moves off the screen and this can be used you know uh, this can be used uh, I see this used in a lot of games as well so what is the origin well if we zoom in really close you see that little square in the middle here that's the origin of this particular sprite or in this case the player so you'll notice that uh, if I rotate this, it rotates around the origin, okay? And for the most part, you don't really need to change the origin, but if you do, you need to double click on the sprite here. And then what you need to do is you need to click on this, and you can see that the origin is set at the X coordinates and the Y coordinates of 37.5. Now I can change, uh, let's actually change the origin to something like this here, okay? And if I do that, you'll see now that it rotates around that point. That is the, so what that means is that this is essentially the center in terms of what the computer is, um, has concerned as a center here. And you'll notice that when I bound to the origin here, I'm bounding to that little square. All right, it's pretty easy, pretty basic stuff here, but let's go ahead and let's put that back in at 37.5. And by the way, whenever I have uh, both of these uh, items here or a text box. I like using the tab. I, one tip about game development is you want to learn as many keyboard commands as possible here. Okay, so there we go. We now have a player here. We now have behaviors here. Now let's just talk one last thing about behaviors before we continue here. Now, in theory, you can actually make a really good game with just behaviors here like that's essentially what uh, uh, that is, you can do that here and you can make enemies um, you can you can make a f you can get pretty far in game development but if you want to add in any kind of customization at all you're gonna have to do that in the event sheet all right 